Hey, how's it going? And today we're going to be talking about arrays. And in doing so, I'm going to talk about how to get the largest value out of an array. And it seems like something that would be so simple and basic to do, but I actually really took me a while to get it working. I have it working, and so I'm happy to share it with you. I'm just in a blank island template, and I have my Versa device in the scene. And this is all in code, so we're just going to take a look at what I got here. To create an array, we can go variable, var, give it a name, my array, and then you specify, use these brackets, the square brackets, and then what type of value you want in the array. In this case, I'm just storing integers. And then we go equals, and then we use the keyword array, the curly braces, and then we just fill our array up with whatever values we want. In this case, I just have five values. So this is pretty straightforward. So one of the things about arrays and with verse is because this could potentially fail this call because I'm asking verse to go get this value out of an array. It doesn't know if there's an, a value in that array. So it, if it comes back empty handed, that's, that's a big no-no in verse. So it doesn't like that. So this has to be put in what's called a failable expression. So the only way we can go and request get that number is if it's inside of an if statement or for statement or some other failure context. That's different about verse because you can't just from here to here, you got to put it inside of an if statement. So anyway, what this is going to do is I'm specifying get the first element in the array, the zero placeholder here. It's going to be one, right? Go get that value, right? Then once we got that value, we're going to call it here. And I want to assign it to a new variable. And that's going to be an integer called new var, and it's a variable. Then from here, I'm going to do a for expression that's going to iterate over every item in the array. This is the generator, they call it that specifies the range of the for loop. And here is the body of the for loop. So each time it goes through the array, we're asking it to see if the first item called is bigger than new variable. And new variable is the first item. So, so is that item bigger than new var? And then if it is, whatever item as it cycles through, if that item is bigger, then it takes the place of new variable. So we're constantly looking for the biggest variable until we end up with the one and only biggest variable. This was for some reason so tricky. You have to go set new var and you cannot use the colon equals here, which normally it seems like you can use, but you can't use it here. So you just have to go set new var equals item. This five lines of code will return the largest value. So here we just print that out with a custom print string. And then the last thing we have here is if we want to change an item, we got to do the same thing again. If we're going to call it here to set it, it has to be within a failable expression. So it has to be inside of an if statement or something like that. And so we say basically get the fourth item because this would be zero, one, two, three, this item here and replace it with 99. And then I'm just going to iterate over the array again to make sure that that number changed. So this should be 99, not 32 when we go through it. And that's all we got to do. So let's print this out and see what we see. So the largest value in the array is 49. That is correct. And then we see that 99 replaced 32. So that's all I had. Just a little bit about arrays in verse and how kind of different they are from other programming languages. So anyway, take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.